Hello, Colin from Auto Savvy here in Indianapolis giving you a walkthrough video on this 2018 Ford Explorer XLT. To start on the outside, we got this nice ice white paint. You got your chrome grill and then your black bumper with the chrome accents. Now, as we come around, you got the blacked out rims, which I think look great with this nice bright white on here. You got the black mirrors, some tinted windows on the back for some nice privacy. Another look at those rims. So keep coming around. You got the black rear bumper. Oh, excuse me. And then. Yeah, as you can see, four-wheel drive, so you got good traction in all terrains. Same on this side, so we'll go ahead and start on the inside. So on the inside, we got the jet black interior with these red accents all over. As you can see, they got some Alcantara as well, as well as these little silver accents. So you got your basic window controls right here. And as we take a step inside, you can see, let me turn on this air real quick. You can see the black seats with the Alcantara right in the middle and then the leather on the side, as well as that red stitching going all around. And as we look at the steering wheel, these buttons on this side control the screen to the left of the speedometer, and these ones control the screen on the right. Got your cruise control settings right here, and then your volume adjustment and talking to the car and calls over here. Got your push to start button right here, your infotainment center right here, and you can actually control your climate from here as well. As you see, you got a heated steering wheel. Then if you come down here, get your seat warmers right here. And then you can also control your climate from down here as well. Then you got some storage in here as well as a USB and 12 volt plug-in. Cup holders right here, terrain selector right there. And got more storage in here as well as another USB port. And then we'll go ahead and check out the space in the back. As you can see, even with these seats pushed back really far, you still got a good amount of room back here for your passengers to ride comfortably. They have their own rear climate as well. Then as you can see, it's still got that red stitching going throughout. Then we'll go ahead and drop the seat and check out the third row. There we go. As you can see, tons of room in the third row. A lot more spacious than most vehicles offer for a third row. And we can go ahead and check out the trunk space. One little tap of a button and it opens for you. Nothing beats that, especially if you got a handful of groceries. It's very convenient. You got a 12 volt plug in back here in case you got a little tire inflation kit and you got a flat tire and need to air it up. And we'll go ahead and drop these seats right here. A little tough with one arm, but make it work. As you can see, more room when you drop them and you can actually stow them as well so they lay flat down here where it dips down so you could have even more space. I don't think I'll be able to do that with just one hand but I'm sure you can kind of picture what it looked like, but you got tons of room for luggage, groceries, anything you could think of. Then to shut the trunk, just press that button and it shuts for you. But that about wraps it up for this Ford Explorer. If there's anything you'd like me to go into further details of, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to.